Hey guys, in this video, we're going to solve this interesting problem. So it's basically asking us to find the area of the shape in terms of S, where S is the side length of this equilateral triangle. Also, each of the three blue curvy lines are arcs of three different circles. This shape below, the blue part, is actually called a relux triangle, which is a very interesting shape. Um, I have a Wikipedia link in the description if you want to read more about it. It has some cool properties. But um, anyway, we're going to be finding the area of the shape. And on the inside, there's an equilateral triangle. That's just the definition of what a relux triangle is. So if you want to give this problem a shot, go ahead and do so. You can unpause when you're done. OK, so this problem might seem difficult at first, but it is extremely crucial to realize that I'll just pick this one. This is a sector, right? It is a sector of a circle whose radius happens to be s, right? So now, knowing all of this, we can find the area of this sector. To find the area, we need the we need a degrees, right? Well, over here, 60 degrees, right? It's an equilateral triangle. So we have all the stuff we need to find the area of this sector. Let's do that now. The area should be 1 sixth s squared pi, or pi s squared. That is the area of one sector. However, we're clearly missing something. We need this part little, this little curvy part and this curvy part, right? How are we going to find that? Well, if this will be easy to realize if you know about the principle of inclusion and exclusion. If you don't, it's also fine. But what if we multiplied? We have this right now, right? What if we multiplied it three times to have this much? Now we have the one, two, three curvy areas that we need, but we also overcounted the inside triangle twice. So we'll just times three, then subtract the area of the triangle twice. And yeah, if we know this, we can basically solve the problem. It should be easy from here on out. So now we realize that we need the area of this triangle, right? Well, finding the area of an equilateral triangle is pretty simple. Just draw a perpendicular bisector here. This will be 90 degrees. We know this is 60 degrees. This is 30. 30, 60, 90 triangle. If you know the properties, this little length over here should be s divided by 2. This height should be s squared of 3 over 2. And now we can just multiply the 2 to find the area, right? So that will come to square root of 2. Sorry, not square root of 2. <laughs> s squared, square root of 3 over 4. That's the area of one triangle. But remember, we're subtracting 2, right? So we'll just have this. Subtract it from 3 of these. So what we're essentially doing is we're adding all of these. But of course, we overcounted. So we're getting rid of 2 of these to actually get the shape we want. I will delete this now. All right, so now we can just use algebra and figure out the area, right? So let's distribute the 3. That'll leave us with s squared pi over 2 minus s squared 3 over 2. We can actually simplify this further. Let's factor out uh, s squared over 2, or 1 half s squared, same thing. 1 half s squared. And then that'll leave us with pi minus square root of 3 on the inside. And you can't really do anything more to this. This is the final answer. This is the area of this entire relux triangle. Again, if you want to read more about it, you can look in the Wikipedia description. There's a lot of stuff about it. It's got cool properties. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.